Hi guys, so this is going to be for Capricorn. I hope you guys are doing well. So you guys have some interesting energy going on. You also have the influence of Venus flowing up from Virgo. So grounded Earth energy, love, compassion, and forgiveness going up to Pluto. So major transformation feelings could be changing here towards something regarding um, yourself or the people around you. Your feelings could be changing in some way. Um, Venus influences the energies um, of its forgiveness, love, compassion, things that bring you pleasure and happiness. Um, the other energies are frustration, Mars in retrograde. Things aren't moving fast enough. Things aren't moving forward. As And there's also a lot of change. And also maybe feeling nostalgic with this Scorpio Mercury retrograde going on in opposition to Aries, looking at the self and also Taurus, um, a need for self-control. If you have deep feelings or energies of like an outburst or something like that happening, you have a lot of energy going on in Capricorn. The moon by Friday will move into Aquarius. So people in the community or society will be feeling very intense emotions. It's connected to Scorpio. It's connected to Mercury in retrograde. Things that are information, Mercury rules over the house of Gemini, which is communication, analysis, um, people in your day-to-day -day life, neighbors, co-workers and friends and all of that, family, siblings, um, and it's in retrograde, so it could be issues coming up from the past. Scorpio is about deep water, deep feelings that are buried coming up which could also be secrets. So secrets being revealed in society with the moon because it's at a square. So there's a tense square to things being revealed or exposed. It's society. And that energy right there is passing through Capricorn. So you might be observing this or feeling this as well. Okay, so let's just see what the energies are coming in. For Capricorn, I hope you guys are doing great. This is for Thursday, Friday. Angels and spirit guides, what do we have coming in for Capricorn? Okay, let's just tilt this a little. There. Angels and spirit guides, what are the messages coming in for Capricorn and what do they need to see, please? What do they need to acknowledge? Five of Swords. This is um, wanting to be right, wanting to win. But it's kind of like ego where there's a short-lived battle. Um, like somebody says, I'm right. See, I'm right. <laughs> The world, okay, so in the cross to that is a completion. Um, successfully an end of something. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, somebody you're dealing with who was pretty like egotistical or something like that. Okay, we have the energy of the magician, Gemini. Manifestation, trying to make something happen. Wow, recent past here, a tower, something that was unexpectedly exposed in some way. And then we have here nine of swords. Well, these came out together. So there may have been something in the past, recent past, that was stressful unexpectedly you went through something that was maybe kind of shocking maybe you found something out like a secret about someone Ooh, we have an ace of cups so an, a new opportunity for love peace healing coming in so there's an opportunity for love or peace or reconciliation okay we have a page of cups a messenger bringing you a message of love or feelings, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio energy. Three of 
receiving a love message or kindness or friendship. Wow, Ten of Cups here. So this makes you really happy. You get some kind of really good news. Um, it could be something in a family. So why is this Ten of Cups coming in? Okay, there. So something in a family, but it brings you emotional fulfillment. Whatever this new experience is that you're having with someone. What's in the environment? Okay, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. It could also be the way people see you. They see you as generous, kind, um, very stable, grounded, patient. Uh-oh. My cat. I'm sorry. Come here. Okay. He's just wanting me in the other room. Okay, so there's nothing wrong with him. He just... <laughs> Um, he's fine. So what do we have here for Queen of Pentacles? What is the hope or fear? Feeling like you're attacked or feeling like you have to stand your ground. Like there's multiple people who don't agree with you or something. Okay, so you're not wanting that. What is the final outcome energy here? Eight of Cups. Okay. Your feelings are like, I want to walk away. I don't want to involve myself in a situation anymore. It could also be a desire to move or go somewhere new. I feel like maybe you invested emotions in either a job or a place where you're living and you feel like going somewhere else. What is the Eight of Cups? What is the Eight of Cups right here? What is the Eight of Cups? Judgment. Um, you could feel like somebody is judging you. It's the last judgment. It's the energy of, you know, some kind of big decision being made. A reckoning, a reconciling, something being raised up. What is the magician? You're trying to manifest something. You're being very resourceful, using everything that you have to make something happen. King of Swords. There could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius around you who you're having a new beginning with. What is this page of cups? Water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a message of love. What is this page of cups? Hey, so we have a Knight of Cups. We have an invitation. Somebody's inviting you somewhere. Could be a family get together, a Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What is the Ace of Cups? Okay, new beginning with the masculine fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, leadership. Okay, so what is this King of Wands energy? It's like a new beginning, but there's two. Wow, there's three. There's three men, or very strong, masculine, water, passion, air. So it's like somebody's coming in, and you're walking away, or you're walking towards, because there's a judgment here. What is the Ten of Cups? It could be like family members, like a family get-together. Ten of Cups family. We have self-control, Leo energy, strength and courage. There may be like some kind of family conflict going on and you're trying to figure out what to do because there's a five of swords. There's a person here who want, who's kind of arrogant. Could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, very strongly Gemini right here. There's like several individuals coming towards you and saying, 
inviting you. I feel like they want you to be involved. They want you to be involved. They want you to help. There's this Ace of Cups here. Okay, let's see. I want to get a few more. So, what is this Eight of Cups? Why is the Capricorn wanting to leave or move on? King of Pentacles and Judgment. Some, you feel judged for maybe having money. Um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, energy. It's the energy of money, having money. You feel judged for being independent or stubborn. Everybody here is an adult. What is the judgment about? What is this reckoning, judgment, a wake-up call, on a, you know, some kind of awakening? Uh-oh. Well, we have the death card, so we have something coming out. Could be a Scorpio, because we have a page of cups. There's a lot of people rushing in. We have Aries coming in really strong as the Emperor. What is the Page of Cups? It's a messenger. What is the Page of Cups? Hangman, Neptune, Piscean energy. Feeling stuck. What is the Ten of Cups here? Well, Ten of Cups is family, I think. What is Ten of Cups? What is Ten of Cups? Knight of Cups. So somebody is inviting you, I think, to a family function. Um, but you feel like there's some kind of a judgment here. What is the Death card coming out? We have here an energy of resting or cutting off communication. We have the energy of wanting to avoid communication. Could be an air sign. We have an ace of coin. It's almost like somebody saying, I'll pay for you to come. There's a queen of air here, Libra. It's like somebody saying, I'll pay for you to come. And you're like, no. For some reason, you don't want to go. I think because there's like fighting. There's like disagreements. And why are we getting hangman here? I think you're thinking about it. Five of swords. There's somebody who is very arrogant. Air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They look down on other people. They probably like to see people divided. They like to see people divided. Um, who is this Five of Swords energy right here? Who is the Five of Swords? Oh my goodness. It's a King of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Okay, so it could be the Emperor. It could be an Aries. Somebody who's kind of like... They're just kind of... They look down their nose. But why is there an Ace of Cups coming up here? Why is there an Ace of Cups? Why is there an Ace of Cups? Page of Wands. You get a message from someone. So you get a message from someone. They want you to come see them, maybe to socialize. But there's, look, there's like a weird kind of conflict going on in this situation. Look at this. I think they want you to make a decision. I think they want you to help them make a decision with maybe somebody who's really challenging in the whole situation. It's like they want you to come solve the problem. Okay, so what do we have here for Capricorn? Blessed change. A major life change brings you a great blessing. Okay. And then the make a wish card. 
This is a magical moment. Make a wish. Enjoy the manifestation. All right. Bottom of the deck is self-forgiveness. Let go of guilt. I'm going to leave it here for you guys. Um, hopefully it resonates. Thank you so much and take care.